C++ variable types. This is the topic in this session. So, a variable provides us with named storage that our programs can manipulate. Against one variable, depending upon the data type, some memory spaces are getting occupied during the runtime of the code. So, how much memory it is occupying that will also decide the minimum and the maximum value whatever the variable can contain. Each variable in C++ has a specific type and which determines the size and layout of the variable's memory and the range of values that can be stored within that memory. The name of a variable can be composed of letters, digits and the underscore character. But a variable name cannot start with one digit. Upper and lowercase letters are distinguishable in our C++. So, while giving these variable names, so they will get distinguished depending upon the uppercase and lowercase letters in their naming. So, if you go for the type bool, then the, the it stores either the value true or false. If it is of the type character, typically a single octet that is one byte will be there and it will be holding the ASCII code of the respective character. We know that ASCII code requires 8 bits to get represented because we are having 256 number of ASCII codes and the values are ranging from 0 to 255. Out of them, 0 to 127 is known as the normal ASCII code and 128 to 255 is known as the extended ASCII code. Normal ASCII codes are printable, you can print it on a piece of paper on a printer, but extended ASCII codes cannot get printed. So, INT the most natural size of uh, integer for the machine and in this way it has been defined. So, C++ also allows to define various other types of variables which we will cover in the subsequent chapters like enumeration, pointer, array, reference, data structure and classes. So, in the next sections we will be going to discuss more on them. Thanks for watching this video.